sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. You know what I mean? My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows you can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Zalba, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in Lower City. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcome. My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Vultures and the Hidden Bex. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Bex things. The Bex are led by Gabby Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop by Bex a few years ago. But even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhnev. Before he took over the Vulkers, he was a Hidden Beck. 
Gaddy considered that ungrateful space like an adopted son. When Gaddy went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Frederick in his place. But Gaddy figured Frederick wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. Frederick was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gaddy and his Bex from the face of terrorists. This gang war in the lower city is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Kalanor is one of the most famous bounty hunters in the valley. They've killed more people than they've seen play. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zach's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his I figure Cal has been hired by Dad to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this job. Yeah, Dad just keep going. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base.